Hello Zwifters, welcome to another episode of How to Run on Zwift. Today we're going to be discussing pace settings. Now this is really important if you want to do group workouts or solo workouts in Zwift. Running on your own is fine, running a race is fine, but when it comes to workouts, each workout is set to your own pace. So it's not too hard for you and it's not too easy for you. But in order for Zwift to be able to do that, it needs to know how fast you can run. One way of doing that is to do a 5K test, uh, but the other way is to just manually input your pace settings. So go into the menu, and where you see your name at the top, there's a small pen icon. Click on that pen icon. Now in there, you can see your pace settings and there are a variety of them. One mile, 5K, 10K, half marathon and marathon times. Now the most important ones are 5K and 10K because almost all of the workouts that you do in Zwift will be based around those times. So if you have done a 5K or a 10K outdoors, you can take your most recent best time and manually enter it into the pace setting for 5K there. Uh, if you've done a 10K, same with that. If you haven't, probably the best thing to do is to do a 5K test on Zwift. You can find that in the workout menu. Go to the workout menu and click on 5K test. But you don't have to do a 5K test. Simply by running regularly on Zwift, Zwift will automatically populate your pace settings with what it believes your paces are. So there are three ways to set your pace settings. Manually input the numbers into the pace settings boxes, run regularly on Zwift and Zwift will automatically populate the pace settings boxes and do a 5K test, specifically in order to populate those boxes with the correct numbers. If you simply run randomly on Zwift on a regular basis, you may not be doing your max effort. So when it comes to a workout, the workouts might not be set quite as hard as they need to be. So ideally you do a 5K test or you manually input known good times that you've done. It's important not to put your PB time, which might have been set five years ago, for example. You might not be up to scratch to be able to run that kind of time now. So put a, a recent time in, a recent best time. You don't have to fill in all the boxes either. If you fill in one, Zwift will suggest times for the other boxes. Also, when you run on Zwift, you might run really fast one day and Zwift will say, hey, great, you've improved your 5K time or your 10K time. Uh, it will also give you updated suggestions for other times. So say you've done a good 5K time, it might suggest uh, an improved half marathon time or marathon time, and you can choose to accept them or not accept them. And that's it, that is pace settings on Zwift. It's really important that you get the right or realistic numbers in those boxes so that Zwift can specifically personalize your workouts for you so that you get a workout which is not too hard but also not too easy and pushes you to improve and get better times in the future. Take care, we'll see you for another How to Run on Zwift very soon. Bye bye.